Hello ladies and gents, uh, this is Mark Lefeu. I am uh, covering another video and this one is about uh, traveling clinical laboratory technologies and I'm going to cover pros and cons about clinical laboratory technologies. Travelers, okay, travelers, travel clinical lab, travel clinical laboratory scientists. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, uh, let's start with the cons first. Okay, yeah. So everybody knows that, you know, in that field, clinical laboratory technologies or scientists, uh, you have the opportunity to travel from one state to another and, you know, getting paid uh, uh, while performing the jobs. So there's uh, advantage and disadvantage of traveling uh, travelers. Okay, so let's start with the disadvantage of the cons. The first con is family issues. Okay, if you are somebody with a family and it will be very hard, okay, so almost impossible to pack your bag, uh, you know, and family's bag to move from one state for nine to 11 months covering uh, an assignment, okay? So things you have to consider is, uh, you know, either are you, are you or your wife going to uh, homeschooling or are you gonna use a local school to put your kids, okay? So basically uh, someone with a family traveling is almost impossible, okay? So you have to decide you know, if you're not renewing your contract, so what are you gonna do? Are you gonna pack your bag and your family's bag again and move to another state or a different assignment? So basically you have a bunch of people that will be moving around with you and kids will be changing school from one school to another. So uh, traveling basically is not for a family-oriented person. Okay, the second con is toxic environment as a traveler you probably could most likely will uh, uh, have a lot of difficulties uh, in different facilities uh, due to the fact that travelers make more money than local uh, 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 you know technologies because agencies give more money due to the fact that to attract travelers and when a traveler comes to a facility and then the locals know that you're making an extra $20 than what they're making or, or $25 or $30 or $50, maybe uh, you know a few more dollars than whatever they're making, some of them get jobs, okay? So they get jobs by, by seeing you making probably double than whatever they're making and then you're doing the same job they're doing and they're the one training you. So, yeah, it could be very toxic. You could hear them talking things about, oh, here you go, you know, the one again. And, uh, it's not going to last a few months or a bu bunch of stuff. And some of them might be, uh, you know, don't want to train you well. Okay, so they teach you half of the stuff you're supposed to know and then waiting for you to get in trouble by not doing the right things. So due to the fact that, you know, toxic environment can cause uh, travelers to not even finish the assignment. Some travelers uh, sign a contract for nine or 11 months and they don't even last three months or two months in the assignment, they have to leave due to the fact that they have a lot of trouble or a lot of problems with local techs. So this is one thing to consider if you wanna do uh, traveling, you know, you have to, you know, deal with all of those situations. And uh, another con is flexibility, okay? So in order to do a traveling, a traveling uh, lab tech, you have to be flexible because most of the assignment or most of the facility will want you to cover multiple shifts. Uh, they might want, they might assign you for a night or it, most likely they will want you to do a night or evening shift but sometimes they move you around from night to evening, the evening to day, depend 
on the uh, uh, you know difficulties to find people to cover the ship. So because of that, you know, uh, this skill can uh, uh, you know stop you from having a part time while you're doing that uh, full time assignment. You know, having a part time to make extra money, so it will be very difficult for you to do that due to the fact that you do not have a, uh, a stable shift. So they move you from night to evening, evening to day. So that could be uh, very hard, very hard for you. You know, some people uh, can deal with it, some people cannot. So basically, flexibility is one thing you need to do to have in order to do travelers, you know, travel assignment. And uh, in order. Another uh, uh, con is, you know, uh, another con is moving. You know, you got to keep moving nonstop, you know, and then, you know, driving from one state to another or taking it, taking a plane, whatever. So some people don't like to move around that much. And then if you do not like to move around, then traveler or traveling lab tech is not for you. So they probably has more cons than whatever I mentioned, but you know most of the other cons may be minor. Okay, let's let's jump to the pro. What's the advantage of doing a traveler or tra travel lab tech? Okay, first pro is high salary. Okay, agency willing to pay you a very good salary in order to attract you as a laboratory technologist or scientist. Okay. So agency will pay pretty good so that they can have you. And the same thing for nursing or, or different other field or PA. The, the traveler makes more money due to the fact that, you know, agency wants to pay more so that they can get people to do the job. So yeah, high salary is a one is one pro and you know you can make pretty decent or a lot of money by doing travelers. And and a second Pro is housing okay incentive think about it one of your biggest uh, in America one of the biggest expense is housing housing is the biggest housing can can take at least half of your paycheck you know if not more to cover housing and different state right and an agency willing to pay for housing for you you don't pay none out of pocket you have to keep all your pace paycheck so while agency paying for housing for you, so basically, which is the biggest expense in America. So basically, that's why travelers make a lot of money. They do make good money due to the fact that they have to keep most of their money. And one of the second biggest expense, and this is another good, uh, uh, I can say, um, uh, pro for doing traveler is food. Can you imagine agency willing to pay for food for you? Some agency give you extra cash for food so that you can cover your food and everything like that. And then, and then you know, so uh, you do not have to spend. Some people manage not to spend any money in the pack, out of a pocket. So basically, the be, the the biggest biggest two expenses in America housing and food are covered by agencies. You know, another thing about housing. And to get this incentive, housing incentive, you have to travel a certain mileage, okay, from your from your uh, primary home, from your primary address. So whatever address you use as a primary address, agency will cover housing as long as you travel a certain mileage. Uh, uh, you can check that with those agencies. And then you know, and like I said, food is the second uh, 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 thing that some agency willing to cover for you food okay um okay so another another pro is employee match can you imagine employee match some agency willing to match your certain amount of money in your retirement so agency that offer 401ks will say okay as an as an example i will match up to 10 percent of your retirement 15 or 20 percent if you put 15 or 20 percent so basically if you put the, the way it works in the agency one okay i will match up to 10 percent that's mean if you put less than 10 percent you do not get the 10 percent from the agency but for in order for you to get the whole 10 percent of the agency you have to put at least 10 percent so 
some people will put more since since they do not have that much thing to do with their money because they don't spend for food they don't spend for housing why not putting more money in their 401k so some people has to match 19,500 uh, as of uh, 2021 19,500 as the maximum you can put in your 401k because they can why shouldn't you okay so in and, and then the agency will match you 10 percent can you imagine 10 percent of some agency will match 10 percent so last and last and not least of the pro is opportunity to visit a lot of different states okay some people will have to pay money to visit their different states or whatever but you can choose any state that you would like to work in while you work in your weekend in your days off you take the opportunity of visiting for free basically think about like you living in a state or visiting a state for nine months and where you are not spending any money out of your pocket and agency paying for housing and everything and then you getting paid so that's another uh, pro I think you know uh, people will have uh, uh, visiting a lot of different states by traveling from one place to another where you're not spending.